honestly, I, at this point, I wouldn't even call it a friendship. I mean, we're pretty much siblings at this point, to be honest. Me and Sammy, like, love each other like siblings. We take care of each other. We motivate mm -hmm. each other. Do you think your friendship to Parker has grown over the years? No. No, <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Well, we met like PE class, gym class in uh, sixth grade at our middle school. At that time, Sam was talking a lot less than what he even does now. Um, I mean, it was a struggle for him to even say his name. And so the fact that he and Parker met in PE class, it was somebody that, that Sam could relate to. My life has been blessed for knowing Sam. It doesn't matter whether I'm having the best day of the world or the crappiest 2020 day of the world, he puts a smile on my face. I've witnessed this pair grow up at the state track meet. And one thing I'll never forget is one of the first times I met them was I was watching the two of them walk away from me um, hand in hand after finishing a race headed to the award stand. They're best friends. And actually one of the first names that Sam ever said outside of his family was Parker. Everything about this sport and a unified track, I just love it. It's so much fun. He gets included. He gets that recognition with his high school classmates. I, I have, you know, 28 years of coaching and teaching. I have a lot of great memories. But as, that, as far as athletic director, I, I will never forget that first year that we they went to state. The announcer stopped all the other events and all of the athletes and all of the spectators and everyone stopped all eyes on the track clapping and cheering for these two boys and sam being sam who i love dearly had to stop and wave at everybody <laughs> in order to go <laughs> So Parker was trying to go ahead and get him to the finish line, and I was saying, Sam, you have to run. That entire um, stands stood and gave every one of those athletes running a standing ovation. That image is just burned into my memory because it was so daggone cool. These opportunities are there for all students. You know, it's really been a joint effort, specifically in Kentucky, um, between the Special Olympics of Kentucky as well as the KHSAA. So, you know, that is really vital to have that working relationship between a high school association and the Special Olympic state entity. We've seen that adding the unified sports program has just changed the culture. Witnessing athletes of all abilities, being able to come together for a common goal in sports. I mean, it, the program sells itself. And I can promise you, if you go through the effort to add it, you'll see the benefit on the other side. To me, inclusion means treating him like every other student in the school and not focusing on his disability first, but focusing on the fact that he's a high school student everywhere that we go in the community, everyone knows Sam. And it's hard because I don't know them. And you know, we walk by someone, they're like, oh, hi, Sam. And I'm like, okay, I need you to tell me who you are. <laughs> Oftentimes they're held back because of their disabilities, but within Unified, everybody within Unified track is equal. Everyone's on like the same boat, everybody's cheering for each other. And I think that's amazing that like the bonds that just Unified has created over the years, like we both just motivate each other like tremendously. We both like are always there for each other, just trying to make each other better, like when it comes to sports and then we're always just teaching each other stuff, so. And is that not what we're supposed to be doing as a school? Is to do things to benefit kids when they're adults and how they can handle situations. So this program gives them those experiences, gives them that history, gives them those skills to 
do things that can only be a positive. There is literally not a single negative that occurs from having this program. <laughs> we bore you. No. <laughs>